Hi there. GitHub versus GitLab. It can start passionate debates in the software community. There are strong supporters on both sides. You might be wondering, is one better than the other? Let's find out. So first the basics. What's Git? It's a version control system. It allows developers to keep track of code changes. Git is popular because it's distributed, which means developers can commit changes without connecting to a central server. Also, Git is very good at branching and merging. But another reason for Git's popularity is GitHub. GitHub launched in 2008. It was one of the first Git hosting platforms. The open source community started to use it for code sharing. It made GitHub an instant success. So the platform started to gain lots of users. Today, GitHub has about more than 28 million users and hosts about 57 million repositories. Recently, Microsoft has acquired GitHub for a jaw-dropping price tag of $7.5 billion. The acquisition has stirred up controversy in the open source community. A lot of people are worried that GitHub will lose its open source roots. So people are looking at alternatives like GitLab. Similar to GitHub, GitLab is a Git-based repository hosting platform. It was launched in 2011. From the start, GitLab wanted to distinguish itself from GitHub. So it created a single product for the entire DevOps lifecycle. In GitLab, tools like issue trackers, continuous integration, and continuous delivery are part of the product. GitLab provides a single interface to the whole DevOps lifecycle. Today, GitLab is used by more than 100,000 organizations. Organizations like IBM, Sony, NASA, and Alibaba are using GitLab. So let's dive into some key similarities and differences between GitHub and GitLab. Both platforms provide public and private repositories, but GitHub is free for public ones only. For private repositories, there's a license fee per user. On the other hand, GitLab allows unlimited private projects and collaborations for free. GitLab only charges for the use of its integrated DevOps tools. It also has friendlier pricing for self-hosting. And GitLab has better granularity for user permissions. In GitLab, you can provide access to the issue tracker without giving access to source code. On GitHub, you can easily add tools for continuous integration, continuous delivery, or bug tracking using the plugin architecture. The plugin architecture gives you more control, but it also means you have to regularly update the plugins. So, GitHub versus GitLab, which one is better? It depends on your needs. If you're working for open source projects, GitHub definitely has a good track record. It's also the most popular Git repository hosting platform. So you can expect to find lots of developers who are comfortable using GitHub and its interface is faster. But GitLab is a rising star. It's a solution that provides more coverage for your software lifecycle. The tools you need for DevOps practices are integrated into the product. If you want to self-host, it's an easier platform to use. So at the end of the day, your project requirements will determine your choice. If you have more questions, visit our site, linuxhint.com. Ask a question on our support site and don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube for more videos.